Well, what would you like to talk about? Clothes? School? Why don't you cut to the chase? Tell me what this is really about. It's not about anything. Except that I'm very happy to be here with you. You know, now that your father's gone and Caitlin's in boarding school, it's like we're all that's left of the family, and it just makes sense for us to lean on each other. You act like you're all alone. I mean, do you have Caleb? You know, Marissa, I think you're old enough now that I can be honest with you about this. I worry about Caleb and me that we might not make it. Come on, Mom. If you two can't make it, no one can. Point is, whatever happens between Caleb and me, I'll survive. What I could never handle is losing you. Well, uh, thanks. I'm, I almost believe you. Oh, honey, you and me, we need to play our cards right. What do you mean, our cards? Just that we spend our time with Caleb wisely. I've already launched the magazine. It's a good start. But I'd like to control a little more of the company, just in case. If we can play happy family for just a few more months, I can figure out my next move. Oh, my God, Mom, you are unbelievable. What? Do you want your inheritance going to little Miss Lindsay? Because that is where this is headed, unless you put in some serious face time with your stepfather. That's an interesting idea, Mom. I'll think about it. Now, why don't you tell me about your trip? 